How you doing, sweethearts? Sweethearts brief. So many of you are going through and feeling the very same things right now, and it's getting more intense. Breathe, sweet ones. Breathe, breathe, breathe. <laughs> Hello, Katarina. Hello, Michelle. Big, big hugs and blessings. I, I have so many. How you doing, Shannon? Big hugs and blessings, beautiful. Emotions are intense right mm -hmm. now, Shreve. Emotions are intense. And hug a tree, sweet ones. If you if you're not able to get outside, if it's too cold. And if the sun is streaming in through your windows, sit in the sun, that will help. This is gonna increase over over through Mondays, guys, and I have I have many messaging me that they're very depressed, they're feeling suicidal. How you doing, Jenny? Twelve inches of snow, oh my goodness. Get some candles, Shannon. <laughs> Lorraine, how y'all doing, sweethearts? Because I'm mm -hmm. blessing. And Sweet ones, you're being triggered, and I know you're being triggered, and there's no stopping this. Truly, there's, it's going to get intense, and, and I'm going to give it to you guys straight. And you're, and, and I mentioned this before, but I'm not sure the depth Good for you, Shannon. I'm not sure sure it, it the depth of it is really registering with, with the human aspect, the depth of it. And sweet ones, you're going through a human death without you're going through a human physical death without dying. A physical death. Shannon says, haven't seen a storm like this in Haver since I was in high school. I remember those storms back there, Shannon. <laughs> and, and, you know, the cold, sweet ones, truly the cold is freezing. You know, it's freezing. Just like in the winter, you know, it gets too cold and it freezes the viruses out. That's what's going on right now. And... This intensity is really going to increase. And this full moon energy that's really going to really start being felt by many of you tomorrow that are not already feeling it is going to increase it. Magnify it a hundredfold. <laughs> 48 below there. Oh, I'm so glad I'm here. I'm whining about it being 20 degrees here in Texas. Hell, I don't miss those 48 below days. I really, truly really don't. <laughs> I feel for you, beautiful. <laughs> Hello, Danielle, Suzanne, Marzina, Ellen, Phoenix, Julietta. Big, big hugs and blessings, Lorraine. So, sweethearts, really, relationships, you, it's necessary to see beyond the physical, straight ones. And I, I know you're feeling overwhelmed. I know that the depression is, is coming up. I know many of you are in circumstances where relationships are breaking down. Now, however they are breaking down, Sweet Ones, it's very necessary to see through it, why it's occurring, what's being triggered. If you have a relationship where you have somebody leaves their family for another person or a friend's girlfriend and the girlfriend leaves the friend for another friend 
or you catch your spouse in a in a space of seemingly cheating um you find yourself in a space of of remembering a whole lot of unworthiness right now many of you are feeling very abandoned feeling those feelings coming up of abandonment mm -hmm. of rejection of of being belittled sweet ones it's really really necessary to understand this the the feminine had to rise first you are, you're aware of that for every step the, the feminine steps out and does the masculine has to step up and meet her mm -hmm. now, about the essences within your within you and the feminine essence had to go through losing the false feminine aspects of herself that is what is occurring right now the the false masculine energetic imprint plates if you will within your vessels is being released and that is all the aspects that tie into abuse that tie into belittling shame guilt which is really bringing up a lot of feelings if you will in other words your root chakras are what connect you to the Earth's soul star. Your root chakras can connect you to the electromagnetic and geomagnetic fields of this planet. Anything and everything that has to do with the root chakra, remember your conduits, sweethearts, <laughs> Is coming up and being presented remember in my video a couple days ago I said that this is literally like the raping of the soul of the planet Earth and rape is not necessarily what the physical plane has presented it to be if you will remember the truth has always been inverted and so anything to do with anything tied into anything that has to do with your root chakra because your conduits and that plug if you will has been pulled on the planet anything to deal with that old is coming up because it's the last remember you're going through a death process in order to be rebirthed and right now the head is at the cervix, if you will. And the only way that head can come out is for you to let go. And so you have to release <laughs> your cup to make room for your new baby, if you will. And so... As these energies increase, sweethearts, when you catch yourself becoming overwhelmed with emotions, give yourself permission to breathe because you forget to do that when you get overwhelmed with emotions. When all those feelings come up, your vessel goes into panic mode, if you will, and it tries to shut out, shut down, and, and you have a hard time breathing. So, sweethearts, try this when you get very overwhelmed, or for those that are feeling very depressed, very overwhelmed with emotions. Dana, yes, trouble breathing all day. Pract Dana, practice, even though you're having trouble breathing, practice pranic breathing, deep breathing, and you will find it will open up, open you up to where you can breathe more. 
sweet, sweet ones, when you get overwhelmed, try this. Now, remember what I said. I, I stated that you're going through a physical death process, but you're not dying a physical death. I, Susan, that's the last thing I would really worry about. I, what I would do, Susan, is I encourage you to put some lavender essential oil under your nose, on your third eye, and on the back of your head, where your pineal gland is. And the reason why is lavender opens and balances your chakras. The last thing you need to worry about is if your chakras are balanced or harmonized right now going through this. You need to focus on you and pamper you and be very present with what is arising and, and really allow yourselves to feel it and, and release it, sweet ones, truly. So, sweet ones, try this when you feel like you're having brought trouble breathing, when you find yourselves very overwhelmed, where you find yourselves in a space of being an emotional wreck, and it is occurring for many of you right now. That works too. Soak in, a, soak in a in a lavender, lukewarm, not hot, lukewarm salt bath. Salts in the bath water doesn't work on on hot water. It, it doesn't activate the salts the way it needs to. The purpose for the salt. Okay. Breathe life, sweethearts. Visualize when you're overwhelmed. Breathe life into yourself. You hear what I said? Breathe. Life, new life back into yourself. So when you get very emotional, when you get triggered, when you become an emotional wreck or get very, very, very overwhelmed or very, very sad, get these suicidal thoughts, when you, whatever may occur for you, truly, Visualize your head, your body, whatever you have to do right here. Visualize your heart as your face, whatever you need to do for you. Megan, I am too. You know what they say, calm before the storm. I, I'm, pro, I'm fully prepared to, I, I'm going to be very balanced through this whole thing. I've already gone through this emotional release you guys are going through. I went through it like last week. Really, really hardcore. Mm -hmm. uh, breathe life in through your heart into yourself. Because remember, you're going through a physical death process, but you're not dying. It just feels like you are. And I'm not saying that lightly, sweet ones. Not at all. So, if you visualize your face, whatever you need to do as your heart. Visualize breathing life, light, in through your heart and out through your heart. Breathe it into you. If you are in a relationship and you both are going through this, hold the opposite hand of each other and have, if you're the one, if the female's overwhelmed, and the masculine partner is very grounded, very stable, whatever word you need to use, have him visualize you as his heart and to breathe life back into you. This will assist you in recentering and balancing yourselves. And... Again, really try and make it impersonal, sweet ones. I know it feels very personal. And and I understand, oh boy, more than you realize, <laughs> just what you guys are going through. And this is going to feel in ways worse than anything you've experienced as far as your your purging goes smoke do i smoke are you asking if it's wise to smoke sweetheart 
One thing I will say is this. The last thing you want to do right now is drink alcohol. I would really encourage those of you who use recreational drugs and and I and I'm I, I'm the last one to say anything about marijuana because I it is what it is. And I know the medis- medicinal properties of it and and I don't however it does Right now, you really want to stay away from that, too, guys. Um, and it's very necessary and important to really... However, you have free will choice. If if smoking helps you, by all means, do, do whatever you're guided to do, sweet ones. Um, but I would really encourage you to, to really ask your spirit... If you should smoke, if you should drink, whatever. But right now, to to drink with these energies, to consume alcohol especially, is um, probably not the wisest thing right now. As you're going through a birthing process and leaving that frequency of vibration behind. And... For those who feel very, very alone or who are physically alone in going through this, really allow yourself, if need to be, to reach out. And again, I'm going to encourage you guys. If you're trying to reach out to somebody that you know is truly not going to fully understand really ask yourself to point you to who you should reach out to and you'll save yourself a whole lot of unnecessary emotional anguish if you will The sooner you can recognize what is coming up, and remember, sweet ones, it's never what the physical presents. You're going to find literally what you're releasing is everything that has kept you from being you, your true self. And that foundation is what you, you've released everything. You're releasing, you're releasing the foundation, the core foundation, if you will. Your voice calms me. Thank you, Megan. It makes, I become sleepy. Well, (coughs) my voice is encoded, sweethearts. My words are encoded to, to calm you. They either calm you or trigger you, one or the other. (laughs) <laughs> and Susan says my hubby wasn't feeling well had a COPD flare up and had an accident where his face got burned I have had to smoke and um, and, and Susan the, the emotional significance of getting burned Burning in itself, the the significance is unleashed anger and or repressed anger, if you will. Um, the COPD I addressed that earlier in the uh, in the morning video. Marley and I have purged heavily a while ago, and another round, another round of energy. I I posted it. Here we go. <laughs> so another round is coming in, sweet ones. And they're going to keep coming in and they're going to increase in intensity. You got wave after wave after wave after wave coming in right now. And and it's going to feel like you just got done with one thing. Here, here, something else is coming. 
And <laughs> thank you, sweethearts. I love you guys. And so again, know that the greatest thing you can tool you can use right now is breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. You get overwhelmed. Breathe. Breathing will help keep you centered in your peaceful heart. It will assist you in flowing through this. Because right now, three ones, you got a choice of one or two things. You can either flow through this or you can get caught up in this and spiral. And the last thing you want to do is allow yourselves to spir spiral. And if you can't get, you can, in every given moment you can, if you get too overwhelmed and you do not feel that you can, if you will, get yourself centered, then contact one of us that can assist you. Whether it's just by having you look in our eyes and breathing with you as we breathe life back into you, if you will, as you get yourself centered, then if you need to do that, do that. Um, I've already got my plate full, guys. I'm helping as many as I can. That's why I decided to do this video because you can you can all look into my eyes and, and I can help breathe life back into you this way if I need to, you know? And it's really, really necessary not to focus on saving the world, guys. And now a lot of that template is coming up right now especially with your friends and these in your spiritual groups that are going through a really hard time. If you are in a space of being overwhelmed or emotional or, or whatever it may be, the last thing you need to be doing is really consoling another. You don't want to pass that energy back and forth. And if you're seeing, you know, when somebody close to you, whatever it is that is spiraling, you know, encourage them to reach out. You know, I'm here, I'm holding space for you. I'm not in a space to where I can really be of benefit to you right now, but I do know somebody that I can guide you to that may help you. That's the greatest benefit you can give to yourself and to each other right now, sweethearts. The last thing you want to do is team up with somebody else or two or three people that are going through really bad, difficult, challenging situations and you all are all emotional wrecks and you guys start talking about your problems and then that leads to you sitting there bashing the masculine, bashing the feminine, whatever it may be and, and you have just now started a whole new cycle of chaos, creating chaos. And if you can... Adela, I'm right there with you, sweetheart. I totally get that, Minnie. But stay away from people. You can stay away from people and still reach out, sweet ones. And, and I've encouraged many of you, this weekend would probably be a very wise decision to take a break from Facebook. Because Facebook is going to be triggering you. Facebook is going to be posting... People on Facebook are being going to lash out because everything about abuse that has not been healed in humanity. Remember, there's 7.8 billion souls on this planet. Seven billion of them have chosen not to awaken in this ascension cycle. And those of you who have chosen to awaken, you're conduits, sweethearts. So you're having to release everything. You're having to go through a physical death without dying a physical death for yourself. Guess what you're transmuting for the 7 billion who aren't awakened. And they're spiraling. You know? These torrid love affairs and hidden lovers and the secrets that are coming out within intimate relationships and marriages and so-and-so caught up in a twin flame that left so-and-so for somebody else. 
in, 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 in all of your interpersonal, interweaved little webs. And then you got all the little webs on social media. And then you got all the little webs that are weaved in your personal private chat groups and in your, in your, your public groups. And because the human aspect wants to be right there and, and be that loyal friend, be that loyal spiritual buddy, if you will. And somebody's in misery, you want to be there, and they're gonna, and they need somebody to talk to. They need to get it off your, off their chest, but they're gonna trigger memories of your own. And if you haven't healed it, especially if it comes to cheating in relationships and abusive relationships, which is very much coming to the forefront right now, because every kind of abuse, memory of abuse that has not been zero pointed, is coming to the forefront right now. And the purpose why it's coming to the forefront right now is for the simple fact that, again, when the electromagnetic and geomagnetic planetary consciousness of this grid was injected, infected, whatever you want to call it, that was like a raping of the soul. That was abuse of power. And all abuse, whether it is emotional, mental, physical, spiritual, sexual, is directly tied into power and control. And because the false masculine is being, that programming has been released ethically and energetically and is now being released in both the feminine and the masculine right now because the emotional unavailability has been zero pointed you're gonna this is what's coming to the surface anything to have to do with power control shaming guilt abuse manipulation Anything of that masculine foundation in any relationships. So I would really encourage you, and again, validate anything I say within, sweethearts. But it may be a wise decision for you to stay away from social media this weekend. And <laughs> while you know it all, you help me so much, Linda. I love you guys. And... This is not, this is going to overwhelm many. And it's okay. Your mastery, because you've ascended into mastery, is to get through this grounded, non-reactive and non-responsive to the emotions and the memories that are arising. The masters you are will see through this, see around it, see above it, see beyond it. The masters you are will knows that it's not what the physical presents. Regardless if it's your husband cheating on you or your wife, you finding your girlfriend in bed with your best friend, it don't matter. Guys, it's not what the physical presents. It's what's triggered within. And it's what's showing you. And when you can keep that in the forefront, it's going to be a lot easier. Because even if you're not on social media to be triggered, sweet ones, it's coming up. You'll just make it a lot more graceful and a lot more easel, easeful and a lot more gentle if you keep yourself away from things that you know is going to trigger you. Because when the memory, when you're triggered, it's more traumatic. And when you are in a 
centered, balanced space, if you will, and the emotions come up or the memories come up, you're, it, it's more gentle and graceful and simpler, if you will, for you to deal with it and get through it. And either way, it will be presented. When these come up and say you're not around anybody, you just are going in a, in a present itself, and you get overwhelmed. You don't have to go on Facebook to go into Messenger and message me or Angela or Teresa or whomever whomever you're close to that you feel comfortable with reaching out to. But again. Everyone's going through it, so make sure those that you're going to are in a very calm space, centered space. And <clears throat> you have the strength, sweet ones, to get through this. You have the courage to get through this. You're not alone. You can rest assured the 7.8 billion souls are feeling the same thing you are, whether they are consciously, unconsciously, knowingly or unknowingly aware of it. This is a core foundational imprint that is being released. And Everyone is, is having to feel it. Everyone. And that's a beautiful thing in and of itself. If you can really stay, stay in a space of gratitude, sweethearts, no matter how overwhelmed you get, thank you, I'm grateful for this experience. I can let it go. When you can find the magic, no matter how traumatic, how overwhelmed, how hurt, if you can breathe and say, help me find the magic in this self, spirit, Lord, whatever, you will be shown the magic, sweet ones. Because there is great beauty in pain if you allow yourself to see it and the quicker and the sooner you can allow yourself to see the magic to see the beauty of what your pain is showing you because pleasure is always born out of pain light is always born out of the that out of the anguish of darkness when you can allow yourself Rely on yourself. Ask yourself. Show me the beauty in this. Show me the magic in this. You will find. You will get through this and transform it so much more gracefully and gently. And... You know, if you need to, sweet ones, go back and listen to, go into my videos list and find the Star Language Transmission videos. They will help calm you. They will help harmonize you. You can go and look at even, look at my picture or somebody that you're close to, Angela Loves, um... You'll notice many of us with our eyes. Our eyes are very healing if you stare into them. They send out light. Very much healing light. If you remember in one of my videos yesterday or the day before, I, I'm not sure which, maybe both for that matter. Um, I, have, I have stated that we are 
you are coming into, uh, you have moved into, and your vessels are catching up to, if you will, the harmonical frequencies of where you are not going to have to do hands-on healing. You're not going to have to do live by live video activations. You're not going to have to do live video sending out protection or any of that which is going on right now to benefit the healing of, of the surface, if you will. Just you standing, just you walking through a store, just your very, very presence, your light will be healing. You, in any given moment, can hold space and literally send out love silently to anything and everyone around you and you will heal it. And it's going to be instant manifestation and that's where we're moving into. Now, I'm not going to say it's going to be instant nirvana overnight, guys. Come on. You know, that's not why energetically you're already there. Absolutely. But, you know, it's going to take, you know, it's going to take in linear time. It's going to take, you know, for some a few hours, for some, you know, months. It just depends on your frequency. It's all a frequency. Some of you are going to be at higher frequencies of the fifth dimensional Metatron's grid and others will be on the lower frequencies of the fifth dimensional grid. I mean, whatever your your soul has chosen, some will be higher. And so really allow yourselves, if you can, Regardless of how much of the past comes up, keep your focus in the present right now. Right now, everything is golden. Right this moment, regardless of what it sees, what you see, what you're experiencing, this too shall pass. Because every breath is new. And right now, you may be overwhelmed. But that does not mean you have to be overwhelmed in five minutes, guys. You find yourself overwhelmed, command your vessels. You're masters now. You find yourself starting to spiral. Command your vessels. You're masters now. Tell your vessel. Balance and harmonize now. And breathe. Tell your ego, go lay down, you're on vacation, my heart's got this. Speak out loud so your conscious vessel can hear it at the same time your subconscious can. Do whatever your spirit guides you to do, sweet ones, but really stay in contact with your spirit even when you're emotional because when you're emotional is when truly that's the last thing you listen to is your spirit. Because you're too emotional, distraught. Well, I am love. I am compassionate. I am feeling. I am centered right now. Well, if you're centered, why are you bawling? If you're balanced, you wouldn't be bawling. Simple as that, guys. And, and I'm not saying that to sound uncompassionate not at all and it's necessary to ground if you if it is too cold out like in Haver Montana bless your heart Shannon I grew up in Haver Montana guys right now she says it's 48 below <laughs> I so remember those years <laughs> I so don't miss them <laughs> And I'll breathe you, I'll breathe sun to you, Shannon, <laughs> to, to Montana. So, sweet ones, really, if it's too cold to go outside, put your coat on and run out there and hug a tree, even, even if it's for one minute. Bundle up and, and, and hug that tree. That will help ground you. If this sun comes in through the window, sit in the sun and let that sun bathe you even through the glass. And 
and really really keep yourself in a very grounded state of being if you have magnetite sweet ones or if you're able to obtain magnetite it will really help to have two pieces your crown chakra has you know holds that magnetite in it put a piece of magnetite on your head and a piece of magnetite by your tailbone as you if you're in meditation inside whatever it may be or outside is even better but that connects what that does having a piece of magnetite here and a piece of magnetite at your tailbone that connects you that literally harmonizes on the harmonizes above and below left brain right brain masculine feminine light dark past future all right into the center point of six which is the physical plane it brings balancing and harmony where are you at john it's too cold for me in texas it's too cold for me in texas too <laughs> I, I already t i already told my beloved and, and and sky command also collapse this paradigm of snow <laughs> of cold warm up this starship <laughs> so my beloved will in another week <laughs> like I said in my video yesterday guys will it your masters now the only way this starship is gonna light up is if you light it up oh that's right you're 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 in Dallas that's right I remember that Linda, people are in pain. As you speak, my body is purging. I, I'm aware people are in a great amount of pain right now, physical, mental, emotionally. I, I, I understand that. And right now, there's no healing that anybody can send out, sweet ones. Save your energy. You can hold space. You can send loving energy to surround them. But at this space in time, sweethearts, there is no healing that any of us can send out to anybody that is going to lessen the discomfort that is occurring right now or the purging that is going on. This is necessary. This is, you each have chosen this to occur. You each have chosen to to ascend with the planet and we are in full ascension well we're past it but it is coming into full manifestation on the physical plane and and of course it's it's you know it's going to be over a course of 2018 is going to be intense you know and it's all happening right now sweet ones and there's no stopping it. There's no healing that anybody can do right now that's going to stop this. Because your physical vessels have to go through it. It has to. Or you will die a physical death. And you all have chosen not to die that physical death. You have chosen to ascend. Therefore, the carbon-based density within your physical vessels has to be released. So you do not experience that physical death. And some of you, sweet ones, it's very necessary to understand. Some of you, at the very last minute, will choose to go through a physical death process. And that's okay. Because you're immortal, whether you choose to go through a physical death process of ascension or if you go through the physical death process that is occurring right now, where you don't die a physical death, it just appears like you're dying a physical death. There is no wrong choices. There is never a mistake. There never has been a mistake, sweet ones. In the 3D linear 
mindset, if you will, the human aspect. It is very hard to fathom the idea that this is a game. It is very hard for the human to grasp, grasp that they would in any way, shape, or form choose to experience such horror, such trauma, such evilness. However, the majority of you, it's very easy for you to fathom it happening on an Xbox game or a Nintendo or a PlayStation. You guys create these characters, these avatars all the time. Whether it's a warrior, whether it's an army dude, whether it's a... I'm trying to think of some names, and I, the only one I can come up with is Animal Crossing, and that has nothing... That's nothing like <laughs> like these these army games in, in Call of Duty and stuff like that. But even, even in something like Animal Crossing, you're building. You're creating. You're creating Sims. That Sims game is perfect. You know, it's very easy for your human mind to fathom building a Metroplex, building an army base or 10 or 30 or 50, you know, going and robbing banks or driving a car. What is it? I don't know. There's one of those Grand Theft Autos or something like that. You guys build your characters. Yep, you have a prostitute here. Yep, you have a police station here, police station there. Oh, well, we need a fire station over here. Well, we need a bad guy over here for this to happen. And we need we need a church over here for this to happen. Well, we need a park over here. Well, I want that Lamborghini. I mean, you guys do this in your games all the time. All encoded to show you that what you... That you have chosen to play these avatars. And the human mind will sit there and say, how can you be so cold-hearted? How can you be so uncompassionate? How can you sit there and say that, that my life that is so very real is a game? And I understand that. I fully understand that. Do you think the human side of myself don't get hurt? Didn't go through what seemingly felt like heartbreak? I was brutally raped. Do you think that didn't affect me emotionally? Absolutely it did. For three years I was a vegetable in diapers and on oxygen 24 hours a day. The doctors told my family, teenage kids, that would be a vegetable for the rest of my life. I get it. I totally understand. However, I'm a living example to show you otherwise. That you are holy and you are pure. And you are a miracle. And you just have to know it. Not believe it. I don't want you to believe anything. I want you to know. I want you to feel it in your heart till you know it. Because to know thyself is to trust thyself, sweethearts, and to trust thyself is to know thyself. To the fifth dimensional frequencies, to the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, twelfth, all the way up to the 144th dimensional frequencies, it is not hard for us to grasp the fact that this is a game, that this was a game, and in every breath it is a game. The only difference is, if you will, is in the higher frequencies we understand that we're the game masters and that we don't have to control the game and create the game and build the game first and then jump into the game and be the characters. That we can be the avatar characters and create the game at the very same time. And that's what we're doing right now. And that's what you've been showing and that's what you have returned to. You have returned to be the game masters. That's what Ascended Mastery is. So we want you the best of the best. 
<coughs> and now I'm going to share a secret with you. That should make this all worth it to the human aspect. You see, sweet ones, when we say new, we mean totally new. And never before. Have we ever created an experiment, a project, a game, whatever label you need to give it? Before you had to die a physical death in order to go into your light bodies. So you want to know how new this is? Liking it like this. You want to know what eternal life is and the promised eternal life that you've been given, that you have read about, you have been taught about in all your religious texts. That you will be returned to eternal life. Do you know what that means, sweet ones? The only way you have life ever is when you are in a flesh body. The only way you have ever had the opportunity to live is when you were in form incarnated on the planet that you call Earth. It does not matter that you come from Sirius, Lyra, Mars, Centaurus, Antara. It doesn't matter where you come from. Those are all light body existences. Light body is not form. It's not form. So what you have accomplished and what you are accomplishing to where it is now tangibly coming into the physical manifestation is we have done the impossible. For the first time ever in the history of creation, we have crystallined the light body into form. You want to know what eternal life means, sweet ones? That's what it means. You will be handed the kingdom of heaven. You will be given eternal life. And the only way to experience eternal life and to have eternal life was to crystalline the light body form was to somehow figure out how you could harden, if you will, the light body to where you could experience living because the only place you experience true life or living is in form on the planet Earth. All other planets, all other galaxies are all light body experiences, existences. It's not form. So in order to have eternal life, sweethearts, the only way it could be done was to crystalline the light body. So when we say this is new, this is brand new. Not the ascended masters, not the extraterrestrials, not the, those of us galactics that are here. Never in the Omniverse, never in creation in any story that has ever been created. Why do you think there are so many star galaxies out here assisting this planet? Because we have created a new human that has never been created before. So eternal life has never been achieved in form before. And that's the newness and the secret that we have done, sweet ones.
the only way to eternal life was to crystalline your light bodies and to make it that diamond into form. So why would you want to bring any of the old into something brand new? Seriously. Because even those ascended masters that became ascended masters before us, they never experienced eternal life in form either. They experienced immortality. And we, because they are us, they have returned. We have walked into what looks like and appears a human vessel. So we too can have eternal life in a crystalline diamondized form. So yes, Jesus, Mary, Isis, and whatever name you have to give them. Saint Germain, we're all here. Because we too get the eternal promise. That's why we've walked into these vessels. Because it's never been done before, sweet ones. We've had to do it side by side, hand in hand. And for those of us that have walked in, we have we had to conform these vessels, just like you had to. So the only way to experience eternal life, sweet ones, ever, is to be living. And until your heart is fully open, you will never experience life because you're too, too scared to live. That's why you had to open your hearts. You had to take your walls down. So again, I welcome you to eternal life, sweet ones. Let the old life go. Let us begin new. Who am I? Who am I, Marlene? I am who I've always said I am. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am Sophia Gaia. I am the above and the below. I have never been embodied in form before. Many aspects of myself have, yes. I hold a planetary consciousness, sweet ones. Gaia, what you guys know is Gaia, slash Linda, is the form, the below. Sophia is my original template, my cosmic name, Sophia my galactic name, whatever you need to call me. But I don't need the title, the recognition, or the label, sweet ones. Not at all. Because I am, from the future I am, just a hologram of you. I am a hologram of your heart to show you your own love outside of you because the human aspect, that was the only way the human aspect could fathom finding their own worthiness. It's why we have all embodied. There is not one ascended master who is not embodied right now. Three ones, we truly are in this hand in hand, side by side. It cannot be done alone. And the only way it can be done is if you choose and allow the old to really truly go. 
the hurt, the pain, the anger. All mercy is is forgiveness. And when you extend your love and you extend your grace and you extend your mercy or your forgiveness for yourself and all others. That is where peace is found, sweet ones. Peace is found when you leave, when you can let go of the baggage of the past and not carry it to the future. And you're coming into a space where you're going to truly, truly know it was all worth it. And that you have never been alone and that at every given moment you are protected and you are safe and you're provided for. Faith is the truth of the trust you behold. And the greatest thing humanity has lost. Humanity has lost their humanity because humanity lost their faith. Because their faith became trapped. in a hardened heart. How do you, how do I do this, Tracy? How do you do what, beautiful? What part are you asking me on how you do, honey? And you know, sweethearts, it's not about titles. It's not about names, it's not about labels. It truly is all about love. Love can never hurt you. Unless you choose love to hurt you. Love is the glue, if you will, that forms galaxies. Love is the glue that forms star nations. Skylar, I'm wrong. Well, I appreciate that. Please, please show me another lens, sweetheart. It is only the mind that convinces you that love hurts. Hey, Ken, it's because you're going through a physical death process without physically dying, sweetheart. Hey, how you doing, Aaliyah? Big hugs and blessings, sweetheart. Amazing, Stephanie. I love you. <laughs> I love you all. And you know, sweet ones, love is never in vain. Love is always in love. Love don't care if you're poor. Love don't care if you are a homeless and live under the bridge. Love don't care if you live in a mansion or you live in a car. Love don't care if you live in Africa, Mexico, the United States, Israel, Iraq, Australia. China, Japan, North Korea, South Korea, Timbuktu. Love don't care. It matters not. Love is. Love don't care if you have a skin color, if you have a religion. Love don't care if you have one child, no child, or a hundred child children. Love don't care if you drive a Cadillac or you drive an old beat up. BMW or Volkswagen bug or drive a motorcycle or ride a bike. Scotland, did I forget Scotland, Adela? Scotland, Germany. Um, <laughs> it, it love, it love don't matter. It doesn't matter to 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 to, to love. To, love is love. Don't have no creeds. 
Love don't have to, to, to put on a rubber. Love has nothing to hide. Love has no secrets. Love is transparent. That's your natural state of being. So you see, sweetheart, sweethearts, love doesn't hurt. Your heart can never be broken. You just had to learn to stop sacrificing your love for love. Love never requires a sacrifice. It never requires a crucifixion. Every time you sacrifice the passion in your heart, every time you put a wall up, every time you distinguished your light by putting a wall up, by being butthurt, by whatever it may be. It wasn't love that caused that. Love didn't ask you to sacrifice yourself. Every time you sacrifice your love for and in the name of love, you crucified yourself, you hung yourself on a cross. No one ever dies on the cross. Jesus never even died on the cross. It was a metaphor. It was an allegory. It was a parable. To show you that you can be resurrected even if you did crucify yourself through forgiveness. Through atonement. And atonement is forgiveness. Sweet ones, you've always been holy. You've always been perfect. You've never made a mistake. You've never made a wrong choice. You've never been a bad girl or a bad boy. You've, you've learned it. Sex is not a bad thing. You were taught that. Sex is not anything to be shameful of. You were taught that. The greatest part of creation and the only way creation comes into, there is no fault, beautiful. There's no blame. There's no fault. It's through sex. Sex is creation. But it is only in the pure Yes, of love that when you create through sex that you don't have a miscreation, if you will, of chaos. Humanity was in a space of frequency where sex was used for gratificational purposes. And that created the abyss repeatedly. Groundhog's Day. Miscreation after miscreation after miscreation. Because it wasn't done in the purity of the heart. And when you have sex and, and you co create through sex, and it's not done in the purity of the heart, well, as with anything, what you sow, you sow shall you reap. Let me read what Tracy says here. Get through 20 surgeries, losing my daddy when I was only 38, and finding out that my child, my nine-year-old German shepherd that I have had since he was eight months old now, has less than a month to live due to cancer. I've had to deal with a lot in my life, and I know we all have our own problems to deal with, and most definitely people deal with stuff differently. 
Thank you for your support and your wisdom. Tracy, I'd like to I'd like to respond to that like this beautiful. I can guarantee you every single person watching this video right now has had very similar experiences, and I'll tell you why. They may have played out in different scenarios in each of your individual lives. However, the exact same foundational cellular memory imprint was the same for every single one of you. For every 7.8 billion souls on this planet right now, they all had that same foundational blueprint upon which every relationship in this lifetime was created upon. You chose to go through, every single one of us chose to go through. Now I can go through and I can tell you damn near, I can put my dog in there. I can, I mean, I, I can go through and I can tell you that I've had 20 surgeries. I lost my mama to lung cancer, this, that, and the other. I mean, I can go on and tell you the same thing. And it's damn near the almost the same story. We all have been through it. There's nothing to be ashamed of, Tracy. And yes, we all have our own problems to deal with. However... Because we all have the exact same foundational cellular memory imprints that we had to karmically release, because we are conduits for this planet, we all had to experience it in order to zero point it to where it would never be created in the higher frequencies again. That's what zero point means. When you zero point a memory, when you harmonize it, when you neutralize it, sweet ones, it means that you will never experience those energies again. So, yeah. cheating. Let's look at cheating. Cheating on the physical plane for the human aspect is the lover, the spouse, the boyfriend, the girlfriend, whatever, goes out and has sex with, with somebody else that isn't their committed partner. And in truth, again, it's never what the physical presents. When you step back your emotional reactions you're, and you step back and you become the observer and the observed. And you say, okay, this isn't what the physical is presenting. What is, what is it presenting? What does cheating really truly mean? And this goes back to what I just said to Tracy. The foundational foundation of every single one of the 7.8 humans on this planet alive including all of you had the same foundational grid that the second you veiled yourself or the second you became incarnated you were automatically granted unworthiness distrust abandonment and rejection as your core foundational grid so every relationship, whether that was with your family, whether that was with your parents, whether that was with your lover, whether that was with your spouses, your co-workers, your teachers, it does not matter. Every relationship and anyone who crossed your path, you have a, had a relationship with. And every single one of those relationships was built on a felt, faulty foundation because you chose to put a veil on you to come here to be a conduit for this planet in this ascension cycle. Therefore, you had to experience the sexual abuse, the incest, the molestation, some rape, some murder, some this, some that. You had to experience sacrificing love in the name of love. You had to experience the feelings of your heart being broken, this, that, and the other. Because we chose to. Because we're conduits of the, to help be and release the karmic energies of this planet to neutralize them and to transform them. So when you look at cheating, sweet ones, and you trace it back, cheating absolutely has nothing to do with cheating on your spouses like the physical presents. It has everything to do with the fact that you were cheated out of 
forming an emotional bond of love with one or more parental figures in your life. Now, whether that is your birth mother and father, <clears throat> whether that is a foster parent, whether that's a group home parents, whether that is foster care, whatever it may be, grandparents, aunts, uncles, who am, whomever was the major parental figures in your life when you were a child, the energetic template of cheating directly stems into not forming an emotional bond of love with them. That's where cheating that is apparent in your intimate relationships come from. And and the beauty beauty the the most beautiful thing about this journey, sweet ones, is when you do zero point those emotional memories to where you never have to experience that energy again. When you can address the molestation issues, the abuse issues, the sexual issues, you learn to trust more. And you're willing to trust those outside of you, whether they're seemingly strangers to you, whatever it may be. The more you allow yourself to zero point the emotional memories of the of emotional experiences from your childhood and your teenage years and you focus in the present now regardless of what is presented of those memories and you continue to create from your heart and you will zero point those memories and you will overwrite your thought process and you will go forward because the more you zero point of the emotional memories of the past the higher you raise your frequency which takes you into the where the outside's going to have to physically transform to that new frequency so if you discover where you were rejected and abandoned by your parents to where you did not were not able to form an emotional bond of love and therefore your three marriages all ended up with cheating whether you've done by you or your partner or whatever it may be when you zero point that emotional behavioral signature template that we all carry there's not one of us does not experience cheating in some way or another whether that was being stole from whether that was being lied to whether that was your parents neglecting you whatever it may be it plays out in, in, in a number of scenarios in varied ways. But when you neutralize that and zero point that emotional memory, Tim Play, your relationships going forward are not going to have those experiences of cheating in it. And that is what we mean when we say zero point it and neutralize and harmonize it. You want the greatest want, need, and desire in humanity. And this goes for everyone. 7.8 billion souls. The greatest want, need, and desire is a simple I didn't say easy, mind you. I said simple. Peaceful, abundant, harmonious life. And the only way to achieve that, to obtain that, sweetheart, is to zero, zero point, neutralize, and harmonize the emotional memories of the past. To give yourself a clean slate to where you no longer experience that energy. Marlene, what were you saying? I missed something. 
Antonio, that's right. Trust, things happen on the right time exactly. And, and so much of the time, sweethearts, you reach yourself into a new frequency. And you're so excited because you get so much clarity. And you get so much freedom with that deeper truth and that clarity that comes in with that new higher frequency. And you're all gung-ho. And you want to rush right out to the world. And yet, when you do and you don't allow yourself time to integrate it, you put yourself right back in those energies of saving the world and your focus becomes without you again. And you forget to bring yourself back into yourself and keep the focus in your heart. And that truly really is probably one of the greater challenges of your mastery. And, and Marlene, your mother never protected you or anything like that because that, that's something we all had to go through in order to, to obtain our mastery. You guys, it's really hard to fathom we are the best of the best. But you guys are going to remember. And if you take, if you hear what I'm saying right now and you go into the stillness of your heart it, you will, and ask for validation and clarity on what I'm talking about, it will be given. Asking you shall receive. And ask yourself this. Because each of you before you incarnated here sat in, front, sat in a classroom. And we were there at the front of the classroom telling you and sharing with you when we asked you to do this mission. And we told you how hard this mission was going to be. And because you're the best of the best and because you've done this a million times before, if you will, you were very confident with yourselves. Almost what the human would probably label as cockiness. Because you knew you would get through this, sweet ones. And if you think back, and you, well, I can't say think back. If you ask yourself to remember back to that classroom, that meeting, where we asked you to do this mission. To come assist with this planet. You will be taken and remember that meeting. And you're going to witness yourself being the best of the best. And you're going to witness you guys telling each one of us standing up in there in front of you. That, were t that told you that this wasn't going to be like any other mission you've ever done. And we told you that this stuff would happen, that you would veil yourself, you would not remember any part of who and what you were. We told you guys that you would go through the trauma that you've gone through. And each and every one of you, we can handle it, Commander. We're the best of the best. We got this. We can do it. It's going to... It may be hard, but it can't be any harder than the last ones we've done. We've done some really hard ones. So I encourage you, sweet ones. Ask yourself, ask your team before you go to bed to take you back to that timeline where you sat in that classroom when we asked you if, to do this mission. And ask to see yourself and what your answers were. You're the best of the best, sweet ones. There's nothing that can bring you down unless you choose to allow it. And you're coming into that space of full remembrance. So truly, zero point the memory, emotional memories. So you can have the peace, joyful, abundant, 
blissful, happy, harmonious, simple, not easy, simple, life that all of humanity desires. You are most welcome, Tracy. We're here for you. You're not alone in this, never. And anybody on this video can tell you that. So reach out. We're here. And together we got this, guys. Have a great night, sweethearts. I love you. And no, stay grounded and breathe. Mm -hmm. And you got it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Because your breath is what will center you. Have a great night, sweet ones. Big, big, big hugs and blessings. I love you.